Hey everybody, this is Maurice back again with another video. And today I am going over the Hunter Killer um, RIP at the Rodeo box. Um, this one was kind of cool. Like I think in terms of the, um, I think in terms of the things that they use to help you solve the case or the, the items that they present to you compared to the other boxes i really enjoyed this one like i think the the picture qualities were really good the articles were fun to read um i think that some of the items that were in this game were super cool they always leave you with something that you can keep as almost like a keepsake if you want to um you know maybe not shared a box you know the like, like this one it came with a ring um and a and a brooch which is um which, which was pretty cool but uh this one you are reached out to there was a super popular cowboy turned um rodeo clown that was murdered or of what appeared to be a murder uh, so you're trying to figure out what happened to him if it was actually something that was foul play and if it was foul play who actually did it and if it wasn't foul play you know what happened um, I think that this one, uh, the puzzles in the notebooks were really good. Uh, there were some icons, uh, iconography, if you will, that was involved in the notepad of the uh, rodeo clown that I thought was super cool with how they used the iconography on what he was referencing. Because you will be reading through the notebook and then there were these like random weird icons that was in there you're like man what is this dude talking about clearly he's talking about something because the the way that he would um use it in a sentence it sounded like he was talking about something specific but then there was just this icon that was there instead of what it was he was talking about and there's another part of the puzzle that allowed you to be able to understand like what he was going through but it was fun reading through the different suspects um they all were questioned um by the police and you can read what they were uh questioned on uh the puzzle for this one was pretty interesting uh but the one thing that i think that holds this one back and even though i don't mind the um what would you call it the ambition that they have with using an app i think that the app was somewhat was well, it wasn't an app it was a website it was kind of a downfall to what this game was trying to to do and i think that maybe it's a part of the growing pains of uh using more uh digital clues than just having uh papers in your hand right um because i was at a getaway with my girlfriend one of her friends and we only had a, our phones to be able to um look at some of the clues so there's a website that it asks you to go to and there are these different files that you have to open but they're all password protected and there's a hint on how you find out what the password is so you're going through all of these things trying to find the passwords and then there's different documents text messages pictures and things like that that help expand on the mystery i love the idea of it i think that this is how you kind of expand on um the different mechanics of the game but i think it falls a little bit short if you have a relatively small screen i don't think this would have been an issue if we use a tablet because i think that the um the user interface on the site was not small screen friendly <laughs> because some of the, to, to be able to get out of the the document that you're in there's this super small x that was at the top right of the screen that was super hard to see and it's a little hard to navigate amongst three people trying to solve this murder i don't think that this was something that um uh, if i was playing it solo this wouldn't have been as big of an issue but i think if you have multiple people at the table trying to navigate that website would be a little tough um it'd have been different if there was like if you had a computer screen or um if you had or a computer monitor excuse me or like a tv that you can broadcast your wireless device or a laptop or something like that to that tv so that people can see the different um clues as you unlock them but um overall i think it was fine like uh, in terms of the game actually being played um in terms of the story i think this was one of the weaker ones but um i think with the integration of the website or app or whatever you want to call it i think that this i like that they're taking these kind of risks with their hunter killer games because they don't want them to be stale and kind of have a particular formula to it i think that in terms of following the 
opportunity motive and murder weapon things like that um i think that that still is at the core of solving these murders but i appreciate that they're making these strides with trying to make these a little bit more interactive uh finding different ways to keep people entertained as they're solving the murders uh but i think this one is good like i, I once again if you do decide to do this one um i highly recommend using either a tablet or if you can broadcast a laptop or computer to a screen so that everybody have a bigger um screen to be able to look at the clues and makes it a little easier to share some of the notes that's going on because it was a little rough trying to keep track of all the details among so many people um and i actually think that this one had really good red herrings uh because they're out of all three of us we all came down with two people uh it was well between the three of us we narrowed it down to two people um but it, it the red herrings was that good where it was kind of tough to really have that um i guess that 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 one thing that that silver bullet that really linked one person to these particular crimes but uh, or to the crime excuse me and i think that that's really good that they that you can have these red herrings that can lead people astray or you really have to use um these context clues effectively to be able to get um what happened but yeah, if you played this one, let me know what you think about it. I think that it, it was cool. Like, I I enjoyed it. I do think it was one of the weaker ones, but um, most of that was because of the uh, risks that they take. And I don't think that even though they risked maybe the enjoyment of the game by trying to expand on it, I think that with something like this, to be able to um, keep people entertained and not be lulled into having the same thing over and over you got to take these risks and i think that i think that it's a risk that will pay off in the future i think right now it could be something that may be a little bit of a um maybe a little bit of a challenge for them but i i, I see the i see the vision and i think they should keep going towards that vision because i think that's how you expand these uh experiences with these one-off boxes but yeah let me know what y'all think about it if you played it once again my name is maurice and thank you for your time